He may look innocent enough, but 19-year-old Oswaldo Juarez was a medical nightmare, a carrier of a disease that could kill him and anyone around him. They told me that my treatment is going to be two years, and, my, and I only have one chance of life. One chance because Juarez had a contagious, aggressive, almost untreatable form of tuberculosis. TB, as it's known, can usually be defeated by antibiotics that cost just $10. But misuse of those drugs has let it mutate into something sinister. We haven't had a case like that for 15 or 16 years. Scientists and doctors say diseases that were on the brink of extinction have roared back to life in forms that are resistant to most antibiotics. They say the problem lies in the drugs themselves. Either people have taken too much of them and their bodies have stopped responding to it, or they don't take all of what's prescribed, and the disease lingers and learns to adapt to the medication. So antibiotic resistance is increasing, and it's increasing at even faster rate that we were expecting. The trend isn't just limited to TB. Doctors in Cambodia are seeing a new strain of malaria. Doctors say there is little they can do, as the antibiotics they have don't work anymore. And the ones that do work are too expensive for the people here. But diseases aren't just mutating in people. More and more of the animals we eat are treated with antibiotics. While this helps them grow, some say it can lead to new drug-resistant infections. And they add that puts people who handle them and consume them at risk. Some farmers aren't convinced. My response to that argument is that the science really hasn't demonstrated that to be so. That if antibiotics are used properly, carefully, and judiciously, that uh, we, we can produce a safe and wholesome pop product for our consumer. Still, doctors worry they're running out of weapons to fight these once curable diseases. It's so significant that we actually may not have actually the type of antibiotics that we will need to combat the, the level of resistance that we're seeing now. The final solution, though, may not rely with more antibiotics, but less. Lynn Leibowitz is part of a UK hospital that has found great success with giving people fewer antibiotics. When you put a patient onto an antibiotic, you kill the sensitive strains and they become colonized with resistant strains. This is known as the collateral damage. She says that lets patients build their own resistance to diseases, and it also makes the drugs more powerful when they do have to use them. However, it was a two-year regimen of drugs that cured Juarez and let him walk out of the hospital. Doctors, though, say they saved more than just him. Talk about protecting our society, protecting our public's health. This is the ultimate. This is an airborne spread disease that if we don't take care of that individual, all of us are at risk. They warn, though, that without more action, they could be seeing more cases like his filling up hospitals around the world. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.